Hey, hey, we are back with some more Arceus, some more pokes, and for me, the return after a longer than expected vacation. Uh, there was some chaos trying to get back home with flights and stuff, so that was fun. And between that and being a bit sleep deprived and work annoyances and computer annoyances and such that have happened today, I'm a little cranky, if we're being honest. I'm a little cranky mister. <laughs> but hopefully the pokes will be able to pick that up. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself. Um, and we'll do some fun stuff. But Eric has informed me that it was actually interesting that we got this shiny drift loon. Apparently, they feel more common in this game just because you can see the boys, but it's still like a one out of 4,000 chance at the beginning. I think you can upgrade that later. But right now, it's cool. So he also said I could use it. <laughs> because again, this isn't the whoops, this isn't the um eh, most hardcore challenge in the world. I'm going to use it. <laughs> so Pops is going to be replaced on SEAL Team Nick here. Uh with this Drifloon, who I will still name. Hopefully. Don't release the shiny Drifloon like I did with that worm pull. Let's see. I think this one will just be Spark Sparkle. Spark. Spark Sparkle. Sparkle Eric. Because Eric told me to use it. So Eric, you get to be my shiny. You're Sparkle Eric now. And I was considering going back to the OGs here. Was this the alpha? Why is this guy in the OGs bucket? I guess it must have been. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I was considering going back to the OGs, but since we just put Spar Sparkle Eric on the team, it'll be nice to uh, take a look at the... Ooh, it even has like the little shiny thing. Hello, Sparkle Eric. Don't smack me. Don't smack me, young man. Oops. Get back in there. He's got the little little stars. That's fun. Okay, where the heck am I going? <laughs> I don't remember what I need to do. I also might need to heal up my boys. I don't entirely remember where we left them off. But always good since we're here. And find your way to Grand Tree Arena to speak with Leanne to get more information on Cleavor. There are a bunch of lost satchels out here, huh? What other random questy quests do we have? Where do I see those? That's the Pokedex. Do we have any other random questy quests? It's not in the Pokedex, is it? No. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yeah, who knows? And because I don't feel like trying to figure it out right now, I'm just going through the main quest. Though, do I have any Pokeballs? Seems like I might not. If I remember correctly, I used a bunch of them. Menus are hard. Gosh darn it. Where? <laughs> Where is the crafting? No, don't do the mystery. What? Sure. 
Lost satchels. Oh my god. He's trying to keep it together. He's trying to keep it together, folks. <laughs> oh, deep breaths. Okay, please just... Yes, check on things. I don't... There, okay. Crafting. Where are you? Key items. Right? Thank you. Make Pokeballs, please. Just like a million. 34. That sounds great. That's kind of not a lot. I'm actually going to have to um, keep an eye out for tumble stones and such. Can get this one for the heavy balls anyway. Well done, Sparkle Eric. Probably going to ignore... Did I get that leak? I did. Most wild boys I come across unless I find anything interesting to start forming our next team. Other than that, I'm going to try and... Can you even get up here? Uh, go. <laughs> uh, try and make it back to more of the deep forest area that we were in last time. I do think you get experience for this, right? Yeah, so I can grind levels on Sparkle Eric here just by throwing him at stuff. Yeah. Is this going to be another Geo, dude? Yep. Uh oh. All right. This probably won't go well for Sparkle Eric. So I think this is a job for Nikki Flap. Because I'm pretty sure water is good against rock. And we haven't seen Nikki Flap yet. And everybody loves a good Psyduck. Uh, yeah, you can use strong style. Use strong style bubble, Nikki Flap. <laughs> well done, you tiny little duck. Another ball of mud. Sparkle Eric got a new move. Probably nothing we hadn't seen on Pops, but wow, he's already level 7. We've gotten 4 levels in like 3 seconds. Now he's level 8. This is amazing. <laughs> I am happy I get to use my shiny. And he got he, what he goes after, like, the little materials, even. He has, like, the little stars. Cricketot looks pretty cool. Just a little, little Victorian man. Look at his little feet go. He like, looks like he's ice skating. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I don't think I'm probably going to fight Cleavor now. That would be... What is that thing? Is that a Lediba? Oh, no. It's just a Cricketot from the side. <laughs> looks... Looks like a Lediba, apparently. I don't think we're going to fight Cleavor now. Because I think he's like the legendary Pokemon for this game. Uh, whoop. Getting attacked by Staravia over there. Also need to go the other way with the Badoof Land Bridge. That is how uh, Pokemon came to the New World. In olden times, the famous Badoof Land Bridge. Am I ever gonna heal? What is what is up with this? Oh, there we go. Is there a Bibarel? Is that what it's called? Barbarel? Here too. I don't remember if I caught one of those. Wapow! You never need to battle in this game. Just throw your boys at all the stones and you'll get a level 100 easy. Ah, yes. Okay. I knew there was something here. If memory serves me correctly, I think this guy's like really high level. I'm probably just going to go around him. If he'll let me. Iron chunk. Pay no attention to the me. I'm just a tiny lad. 
with a yellow balloon. Okay. I wonder why this place I'm going is called an arena. Do I get to actually fight boys here? Whoopow! This is like a gym. That'd be cool. Not sure. Ooh. Nah, nah, Barry. Haven't seen that. Not sure if I'm ready for a gym equivalent, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Combi. I love Combi. He's such a cool little guy. Alright. Uh, what move did you get? You got Hypnosis, so that's good to have. Because I am going to try and catch this friend. And this will be the start of our next team, probably. <laughs> did you just try and hypnotize me? Shiny, shiny Eric. Sparkle Eric. Uh, hopefully this doesn't... Let's do it in Agile style, so it's less powerful. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Certainly did not. I thought that would be super effective. Just do normal. Okay, that should be enough. Sparkle Eric's taking some damage. Uh, let's see. Throw a poke. I think that combi came out of the tree. Because I didn't see it. In the wild. What is that? Is that one of those avocados? Oh no, it's another iron chunk. Oh. I am... What the... Psyduck! Stop it! <laughs> it's very rude. There's so many... Ooh! Scyther! I love Scyther even more, I think. The combi and whatever it evolves into... Some wood. Whatever it evolves into are, are very good. I don't think I can cross this river. I probably gotta find a bridge. Probably pop out another combi here. So flex should be decent if that is the case. Yep. I think there might be another new boy out there. Couldn't tell what it was. Mm. Roll out. Might be able to one-shot it. Could definitely be able to one-shot it. Oops. Man, the bottom button really, I want it to be sprint. Uh, it's never sprint. Okay, so that's where we need to be. There's another side duck. Oh, it was the bunny eeries, right? Whoa. <laughs> Dang it. Get, get. I don't know if I want a bunny eerie. It's not speaking to me. At the moment, anyway. Let's see if there's anything interesting under here. Nope. Not at all. Let's go. Probably send in Nikki Flap again. Yeah. Don't really have anything else. Whoops. I used roll out. Okay, whatever. Oops. Ground is good against rock. It'd be nice to remember that. Can we even use Nikki Flap now? Who's paired with? Okay. Deer and Nikki Flap are together, so we're fine to switch in our side dick. And let's do Water Pulse for the heck of it. Bada boom! Is this a mushroom I can take? It's not entirely clear what you can go up and what you can't. More Baneary. 
Another Zubat, which we have. I don't remember what I named it, but it's on this team. Underdog. Fitting. Okay. I'll just take a a bit of a peek around. Won't delay too much longer into getting into all that. Cleavor business. Hmm, some honey. Which I've never actually used yet. Just threw it on the ground in Juba life, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> More Scyther. Springy mushroom. Don't have enough room in my satchel. I think I was seeing memes that that happens like all the time. So that's fun. Hello, hat, hat person. I am the aide of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor, am I right? Uh, nope, I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. <laughs> Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. That's that, then. Didn't really care that much. <laughs> Truly? You mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleavor so paltry? <laughs> give it up. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Iridia that I'm to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off if, myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. See ya. I need to heal up. I love Gumi. Gumi's so awesome. Uh, doop. Like a little gooey dragon boy who who would who wouldn't love that? Let's see. I don't know if this guy's only gonna have one goo gooman. Need a revive, huh? It's rare that I've ever actually been able to use these in a Pokemon game <laughs> that I've played. How novel. Alright. This'll probably be really easy, but let's see. Yep. Fight me off. Take on the Gumi. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi. See if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Kid, please don't ooze your good sense over... I mean, look at him. Look at that little goo. That little goo friend. Hi, Gumi. Oh, I didn't want to run. I just wanted to look at Gumi. He's a little, little, little weirdo. And he's like a dragon, too, somehow. That's great. Uh, let's put this goom to sleep, huh? Yeah. You really love missing. Cinematic. Definitely didn't need to heal for this level 11. Or nope, level 15 goomy. I accidentally used confusion instead of hypnosis. That definitely is going to kill Sparkle Eric. No, it didn't. Everything's fine. <laughs> well, this one will. You see, Sparkle Eric, this is why you hit your shots. All right. Well. I think, like, nothing is good against Dragon. But he's used Water Pulse. I could put a Nikki flap. Why does deer know hypnosis? Or I could put in deer, because normal type. Also, I don't think I've really used deer at all. Hello, deer. Push, 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 push. All right. Tackle this dunk. Pretty good. Oh, that was a cool effect. All right, well, that was incredibly easy. <laughs> Battle decided. Ah, 
how could this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only welcome you'll get as we approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaping help, heaped helping of his favorite food served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please and to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver, <laughs> Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get it close enough to give any offerings now, not with the way Cleavor's rampaging around amok. Uh, there's nothing that an outsider like you can do. Oh, man, I'm sure she had a voice at some point. The ancestors of Cleavor... Nope. Yep. <laughs> The ancestors of Cleavor, Weird Deer, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said. It is by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in the vast he... He's <coughs> we today. Iridia, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength... Ugh, I cannot read. <sighs> Keep it, keep it together, man. <laughs> I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict between both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. Not impressed. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? No idea. Your commander tasked you with investiga investigating this mess, didn't he? Leanne and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you have to search every corner of the vast hui sui wee wee I don't know what that means. But my god phone will tell me. Mysterious power enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Didn't I have that before? Press the X button while continue, nope, while consulting your map on your ARC phone to do the thing. However, be aware this feature might not be usable if you're a dink. Head to a base camp and report what you've learned to the profess. I really feel like I could do that before, if we're being honest. Uh, I mean, I probably want to go to the Heights camp. More interesting stuff over there, it feels like. What's this lady? I hear that there are Pokemon you can only spot at night. And sometimes they'll just appear quietly with no warning. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. It is pretty creepy. It's pretty creepy. Good to see you, John. And how is your research into Cleavor going swimmingly, I suspect? It's not. It's not going swimmingly. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleavor quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Combi. <laughs> Combi. <laughs> Look at all that reporting I've done. They're lucky to have me. I wonder if anybody's going to have any new bits for me here. So according to the information you were able to learn from Iridia and Leanne of the Pearl Clan. What? <laughs> I think I skipped one. Were this the normal course of events, that frenzied Cleavor would be calmed by a nice serving of two... Okay, maybe not. His two favorite foods. I do wonder. Is it possible the, the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleavor, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleavor's warden, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm. Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. 
There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Look at that weird map. There's a Pikachu and a Starly. Staring at some books. Not reading them, just looking at the spines. Standing in a thing. Closing my eyes, still got a weird hat. That's how we do research. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You're quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, John? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Sure. <laughs> yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, I do say so myself, as for what to call these yummy projectiles. Well, how about tea time balls? Why not? Puts one <laughs> in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Lavendin Balls, Professor? I think I know why. <laughs> oh my, with that name, it'd sound like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights Camp, eh? I was literally just there. They're making me walk back for a third time. Oi. Let's see if anybody's got, uh, got a little side quest for us, though. I guess we could always buy fashion while we're here. Uh, looks like we got one. At this angry man. You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you could try to craft up something special. Something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokeshi doll. Uh, making some dolls. This is the recipe. Nope. This is the recipe for what I've named Pokashi dolls. I invented them, you see, as a special items that we could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Weird. Why? I don't have enough materials. Didn't you just give me wood? All right. Well, rip on that. Guess I'm heading back to the arena. See if there's any other friends along the way. Yeah, I was wondering what she was doing here. My, my. Oh, she was the southern one. <laughs> that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy teams certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp. At least she's got something for me. Let's see if I get that deer now. Beard deer. Oh, I might actually get beard deer. Weird deer, beard deer. Sunny, I combed my beard since we last met. <laughs> I spoke to Weird Deer about what's been going on. How exactly did you do that to a Pokemon? I told him. <laughs> I told him how you've been trekking all over the field land, seeking a way to quell Cleavor's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan, just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird Deer's found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, May? <laughs> this is very important, so listen well. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
Hey, hey! It's time for my pudding. That's a Celestia flute that Mages played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on weird ears so you can ride upon it. Well, that's pretty cool. It said the Celestia flutes were given from the Almighty Sinnoh itself. And now, this one's yours. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See, if you can play that melody, baby, baby honey cakes or sugar pie. The thing doesn't even have holes. It's just a tube. <laughs> hey, kid, I'm already here, you idiot. Weird ear opened his heart and learned the learn well the sound of your playing. Me. What is that? <laughs> Look like I'm about to cry staring at this pink square. Use your the mind plate. Mm -hmm. a certain type of Pokemon allows that Pokemon to gain the power of psychic type. I don't know what that means. Now use that celestial flute wisely and uh, gallop across the land with the great weird here. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Deer, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Why can't I just do that with my normal deer? Press plus to summon a boy. Stay on high alert. Make sure they don't... They don't... Okay. <laughs> it's quite the gallop you got. Up. Up. I like that it doesn't actually just come, it's just <laughs> appear. <laughs> All right, what's this fancy man, man boy, boy man want? It's Sparkle Eric. Oh. Nice to meet you, young survey corn recruit. I hear you've got the rare ability to dash over hill and vale on the back of a Pokemon, yes. Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, I'd say, 17 balloons, well, that ought to be a breath of start. You can find me here at any time, so let me know whenever you feel like testing your skill on uh, the balloon race. Okay, baby. I mean, let me do it. Yeah. 30 balloons. If I can get just over half of those, that would be good. <coughs> Seems like a pretty low bar, I'll be honest. Especially when I can sprint. I'm popping pops. Seems rude. Yeah. But can you not dash and jump at the same time? What was the jump button? Ah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Nope. Missed one. I don't know if I need to be going for all of them or not. I imagine there's some... Like... PP up prize if I got them all, but... I just stomped on that Paris. 26. All right. Well, now that I know how to jump, I can probably do it. <coughs> 26 balloons. You're so close to burning them all over. What's up? Keep you motivated, baby. What do you know? You beat my target. Oh, baby. Yeah, rare candy. Feather ball. Forget about it. Take part in the balloon race. Yeah, send to storage because my backpack's really small. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> wow, wow. Dum, dum, bum, bum, bum. It's like a chocobo race. Except there's no chocobos and it's a deer. Wow, pow! Look at that. A 
fraction of the time. <laughs> This is where, this is where experts come to play at the weird air race. And I missed. <laughs> oh boy. We're off course. I uh, don't know if I'm going to, don't know if I'm going to make it. Weird air doesn't have the biggest turn radius in the world. Rip. <laughs> I swear, if you say I'm so close again. Okay, yeah. Stardust. One more time. I was making fun of the balloon race, but now I have to win. <laughs> I like this little saddle I've got on him. I figured I'd just be on the back. And Shabuski. All right, let's see if we can. Nope, nope. <laughs> Come on, weird ear. Oh boy, that's not great. I still think that was slightly faster than uh, my last spin around attempt. If I don't get them all this time, I'm just gonna give up. Because <laughs> I don't care that much. Oh boy. <laughs> Freaking balloon race. At least I still got a prize. Can I just farm Stardust like that? Alright, now it's time to test Weird Ears fall damage. Not great. I thought I was fine. <laughs> oh, rip. Well, why don't, why don't they warn you about that in weird ear driving school? How far can you drop? I guess I could get that alpha parasect for this team. I'll keep that in mind. Does this boy anything? Pearl member. Have you ever come across shaking trees? Yep. I have. Because I'm an exploit. <laughs> I love how fast his little feet go. <laughs> At least they decided to give me this deer now. Since I gotta run all the way back out here. I wonder if I've seen all the Pokemon for this area. I would suspect... Probably not. Come on, deer. Come on, buddy. But... I feel like I haven't seen too many new ones. Hello, Leanne. So you say that you galaxy people come, they came up with a method to try and call Lord Cleavor's frenzy. Throw the food. What? You'll mash up Cleavor's favorite foods into foods into balls so you can throw them. <laughs> so you can throw offerings at him. Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventive inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offerings. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leanne. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. <laughs> I've brought them as promised. Oh, that's right. My apologies, Aridia. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, we haven't been able to solve this ourselves. We seem to have a little, little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. 
But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleavor's fate. Will you battle us? Sure. Then I have Glaceon's two strengths to die to probably... Your Geodude. No, 17, huh? Rude. Okay. I think Rock is. Oh my gosh. Well, I did some damage. I think Rock is good against Ice. Unfortunately, now we're down two Pokemon for this. So we lost Tater, though I think Tater would have been vulnerable to it anyway. Man, Glaceon's so cool. Alright, let's see if this works. Yep. Yep, it does. That should be fine. It's not fine, it turns out. Two-way street. Alright! Well, get in there, dear. <laughs> so if we lose another boy here, uh, we gotta release... Uh... Seal Team Nick, which would be unfortunate. Let's try and make this thing go to sleep, huh? Okay. Given that fact, and the fact that it's asleep, I'm gonna go ahead and potion on Deer here. Hopefully it won't attack this turn. There we go. And then just tackle. Rude. Let's see, did that do more than half? <laughs> it barely didn't. Between it being asleep and everything else, I'll risk it. And we're fine. I get wrecked. Lots of levels. Lots of new moves. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Now, explain the Galaxy Gene's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? Yeet. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleavor's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him. That sounds like a genius idea. <laughs> Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleavor's frenzy, let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. Some bags. There, a veritable monument, <laughs> a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleavor, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Okay. As am I. Almighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet time, the time of the ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, John. Keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Agratha. Calm down, sir. Is this thing like an evolution of Scyther? Is this its own Pokemon? I never really thought about that. Also, why is it yellow? Is that just because it's mad? Battling Pokemon Nobles. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. 
If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the battle, and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Okay. Yeet. Ow. <laughs> Yeet. Wow, 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 wow. Is this Dark Souls? <laughs> I did not expect this to be a thing in this game. Also, with this guy just being one color, it looks like a Nintendo 64 character. <laughs> and maybe worse than that, honestly. <laughs> So when am I supposed to throw my boys? This one is completely done. Things sure don't go very far. <laughs> oh man. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. <laughs> Can I call Weird Ear here? Weird Ear here. Send in a Pokemon and do battle. Go Flex! Because you were the one I was on. Show Cleavor your power. Double hit. Hard hitting stance. Okay. I'm gonna assume this thing's bug. It is bug. Nice. Crit. Can I catch this thing? Seems like no. I'm also surprised I'm fighting this guy. <laughs> 